maybe you can go for some Girl Scout cookies. Girl Scouts, they have 15 million unsold boxes of the cookies. Organization says the pandemic made it really tough to sell cookies in person. They typically sell more than 200 million every single year, but they haven't revealed how many were sold this year. Organization now trying to sell or donate leftover boxes. I'll take pandemic. those over. Thank you. Yeah. Now we'll go to Hannah Lane, the Stop American it. Baker. Hey, uh, I wanted to ask about the status critters. of your Maybe thinking you around the supplementary leverage ratio Girls right now. Uh, is the Fed still thinking about ways to permanently adjust this to account for the high growth in deposits? And do you ultimately believe a permanent fix is needed? And um, any information on the timing around that would be, would be helpful. All I can say is we're working on it. Um, um, don't have anything to, to share with you in terms of the particulars or the timing right now, unfortunately. Our position has been for a long time and it is now that we, we like the leverage ratio to be a backstop to risk-based capital requirements. When leverage requirements are, are, are binding, it does skew incentives for firms to substitute low-risk assets for, for high-risk ones. It's a straightforward thing. And because of the substantial increase in reserves, treasuries, and other safe assets in the banking system, the SLR is rapidly ceasing to become to, ceasing to be the intended backstop. So we do think it's appropriate to consider uh, uh, ways to adapt it to this new high reserves environment, and, and we're looking hard at the issue. Um, we would also, just to be really clear, we will take whatever actions are necessary to assure that any changes we do make or recommend do not erode the overall strength of bank capital requirements.